This is a great strategy to use with students who have difficulty initiating or completing tasks. It was developed by two speech therapists, Sarah Ward and Christian Jacobson, and they refer to it as get ready, do, and done. And that's what these colors represent. So the way it works is you start, you actually work backwards. So you start by presenting the student with what the finished product, what the finished product will either look like or the instructions for what it's going to look like. But for younger kids, a model is a great way to go. So they would, you would look at this with the student and you would work with them to determine what steps need to be done. So, and then you may want to either make a list for them or have them make a list. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is write your name. Okay, the next thing we have to do is what? Color. Okay, then we're also going to have to cut. Now, of course, you wanna go through each step that has to be done, but I'm just doing this as an example. So these are the steps you're going to have to do. Now, in order to complete these steps, what do we need? What do we have to have ready? Well, you're gonna to have to write your name. First of all, we're gonna to have to have a paper. So that's number one, we need the blank worksheet. We're gonna to have to write your name with what? With a pencil. So we're gonna to have to have a pencil. Then what? We're gonna to have to color, so we need crayons. And the last thing that we're gonna to have to do here is cut, so we're going to need scissors. So now you've worked backwards to plan, and now we're gonna work forwards to actually complete it. So it's important for them to have this model for them to see, but now they're gonna start, now that they've got their materials ready, they're gonna actually follow the steps to complete it. And what you're working with is working with a student to develop the executive functioning skills for planning. This can also be done with older students with things like writing paragraphs or writing papers, developing ideas. Um, it's a little more intense, so if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out.